Alexa, off. All right, hey guys, Dante at SMG War Relics, back again. That was a little uh, Life of Agony. Um, I was one of the uh, my go-to bands uh, growing up in the mid-90s. Um, if you don't know, New York, New Jersey band. Uh, well, that's their stomping grounds anyway. Um, awesome lyricists. Uh, really good just music overall. Uh, lyrics are amazing from Life of Agony. A couple albums they have. Something you should know, if you're like super right-leaning, uh, the lead singer who was a dude is now a chick. So if you can't get down with that, then you're going to be, uh, you know, I don't know what to tell you, but that's just the way the way shit's going these days. So, um, yeah, it might, it might piss off some of you uh, hardcore right-leaning guys, but... Uh, yeah, it's cool, man. Uh, she is now still pumping out great music, and um, the band is just fucking awesome. So anyway, enough of that. We got another What's in the Box. I got some great stuff for you guys. i uh, still been freaking around with that tinny collection. Um, Merry Christmas, by the way. Our tree's up. This is the second tree. I don't know if you guys have the same problem I do, but my wife likes to have a nice perfect tree for Christmas with like, you know, it's like certain color themes and everything looks like a freaking postcard. But the kids, they don't want that, right? They just want to hang up all the weird freaking things that we get in, you know, over the years. And I like that stuff too. So, so we have two trees in this house, this one downstairs and another one upstairs. And, uh, yeah, so this is the family tree, if you will. So, uh, yeah, Merry Christmas. Hope you're getting all your decorating done. Uh, and if you're not celebrating Christmas, um, hope everything else is good with you and your family. Um, shout out to um, all of the new followers we have and the Reddit community, who's uh, I'm really starting to see some traction on. People are uh, joining up on Reddit and um, getting some new customers off of that, which is awesome. So uh, shout out to you guys, and thanks for your support. So let's get right into the business all right let's see how long it takes me to open these packages a lot of this stuff's been kicking around for a while uh again like i said i've been still dealing dealing with this tinny collection you guys don't really see it all but uh, you know one of those 30 minute tinny collections you know there's hundreds of items in each one of those videos that i do so it takes a while to um, not just list everything, but to go through and ID it because there's some weird shit in there. Um, and then there's also some, a lot of fakes. Well, I don't say a lot of fakes, but there's a bag of fakes, right, that we were going through. Um, so got to make sure we're putting good stuff on the site and not junk. And there's some awesome stuff in that collection too. So if you haven't checked it out, go um, check out Massive Tinny Collection. Um, if you are into smalls, it's not just tinnies that are in there. There's all kinds of stuff we're finding. All right, what do we have here? Mr. Gambino, it says. Oh, I always like a card. This is, this is very nice to get a little card. It probably just says, thanks for the money. Thank you again. Um, as I find items, you may hear from me again. Uh, Mr. Gambino, take care. So-and-so. Thank you for your purchase. Uh, my father was so proud of his service uh, as we are. Unfortunately, this dagger, um, something too, oh, brings up too many feelings. Um, do we want it? Man, her script is tough to read. We want it to be with someone who understands history. So that's a common theme. So that's a really cool note. Um, I might save this thank you note because, um, you know, a lot of uh, people kind of feel the same way. They uh, they want the item was personal to their their family member who brought it back, um, and it's personal to them as well. So they want to make sure that it's uh, going into the hands of a collector who can appreciate it, um, which is something. That it's a common concern that people have when they're selling. So. It's uh, it's really cool note. Um, I, I like that note. 
I'll save that for sure and maybe frame it. That's cool. Uh, so what do we have here? We have a Luftwaffe second pattern or second model. Uh, the port pee is uh, tied incorrectly. We'll fix that. No big deal. Um, this is a later one we can tell just by looking at the um, style of grip here. Um, it doesn't have that orangey look to it. So it's going to be probably inside of here is going to be a um, wood or plaster filled grip. Blade is looking pretty good. And it is a Horster. Um, yeah, no, no oxidation or rust on this. A little bit of uh, some runner marks. So this is a real nice blade. This is a good, a good dagger, great dagger. So happy to have that one. Cool. I like the note more than I like the dagger, to be honest with you. Yeah, you shut your hole, Alexa. Sometimes she gets a little crazy. You know that. All right, what's next? What is next in here? Okay, what the hell? Okay, holy cow. <laughs> Okay, I think I remember what this is now. Whew. Oh, oh, oh. All right, guys. This <laughs> this is a big a big Kriegs flag. Holy criminy. Yeah, this is a big boy. I haven't had one of these this big in a, a while. Um, yeah, holy moly. I don't even know. This is going to cover. I'm going to have to. This whole thing. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's any cool markings on it. Uh, yeah, three by five. Uh, this is one of the big, bigger boys. Um, can get lucky and get a marine stamp on it. I don't see one. That's okay. This is still a dope flag. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it, it, I don't even know what to say about this guy. It's, uh, it smells fine, so that's good. Uh, sometimes you get these in and they can just... The bigger ones, especially for some reason, that's probably because they weren't taken care of. Um, they can really have a, a, a nasty old odor to them this one smells pretty good so it was probably laundered at one point um let me get back down here um but uh it's good i don't see any major stains we'll have to spread it out it's going to take up the entire floor i'll spread it all out and take a look at it um but yeah these creeks flags man always popular um and the big ones are uh you know they're tough to display but um super awesome get cleaned up here do I hear my cat I think I hear my cat she's outside let's go see I'll be right back I'm gonna let the cat in hey we're back yeah, the cat was outside. She's an indoor-outdoor, and it started to rain, so she's uh, she's all types of pissed off right now. <sighs> so much for that one. I don't know if you guys are into. The, I don't drink coffee. It's in the morning. It's morning time right now, and uh, I'm not a coffee drinker. So I drink these um, caffeinated um, sparkling waters. They're the uh, the cat's pajamas, man. They're nice because you don't get nasty coffee breath and um, give you that little pep you need. But I'm all out of them, so on to another carbonated beverage. All right. What's good? What's good? Cat's poking around here, but she's soaking wet, so... I can almost guarantee you that she's going to want to pop up on the table. So right 
bubbles, packing pillows. Christmas time is here again. You guys are gonna like this one. This is awesome. This is fucking awesome. Blah blam. <laughs> so what are we looking at here, guys? This is a um, Reich Post Eagle, not a railway eagle. So it's smaller. Um, it's the eagle design is a little bit different. The the edges kind of flare up here, and obviously it's a smaller size. Uh, has V's on the back. This one's got a crack in it right here. That's an older crack, um, stress crack. It's, I don't know when it was, when this crack happened. Uh, it didn't happen in shipping. I knew about it when I when I was talking to the gentleman who was selling it. Um, so, um, but yeah, it's an old one. Maybe from when they pried it off of the the bus or whatever, or the car or whatever it was on, whatever Rex Post vehicle was on. Um, Maybe they pried it off because it's a little bent right here. So maybe that's what happened. That's where it cracked when they pried it off. But it looks good, man. These um, these ones usually will have a red field. Uh, the Behind the swastika will be filled in the red. Um, something to do with the color of the vehicles and whatnot. So um, sometimes they were painted silver as well. So this one, um, someone probably cleaned up the red um, or just wore off. I don't think so. I think it was... Yeah, it looks like it's maybe been scuffed up with like a little scouring pad or something years and years ago uh, for whatever reason. Maybe it was silver painted too and they took that off and left the red. Who knows? It's hard to say. Um, but super popular, man. These things, just like uh, Reichsbahn Eagles, are freaking hot right now. So um, I don't expect this to last long. Um, they are going for insane prices right now. They're very desirable and they are super hard to get. Uh, usually when I go to shows, if someone has it on the table, it doesn't even matter what the price is. It's gone within a few hours It's uh, of the show starting. So, um, yeah, so that's the deal. So this will bring a pretty penny. So thank you to the guy who sold it to me because it's the first big eagle I've had in a long time. Man, they're very hard to get right now. Okay, what else? Oh, God damn it. Packing peanuts. Oh, packing peanuts are the worst. Please, guys, don't send packing peanuts. If you're mailing something. I know, you know, they do a good job at, like, protecting the item, but, oh, they just suck to do it. So now, you poor bastards that are ordering stuff, I get to throw packing peanuts in your packages now because I have them. I don't go out of my way to buy these things, but I just recycle them. Oh yeah, baby, baby, this thing, <laughs> this thing is, this thing is awesome too. Uh, how do I open it? Yeah, it's like, jeez, it's coated in saran wrap, so she bubble wrapped it, then saran wrapped it, it's not even like shrink wrap, shrink wrap, it's saran wrap, household shrink saran wrap that's fine all right some of you guys if you guys are on Reddit, we'll recognize this. Because I put it up on Reddit because I didn't know what the heck it was. Um, it's not German, obviously, which is my specialty. 
and it's not World War One or uh, <laughs> World War One, World War Two. It is World War One. U.S. Marine or Navy. Um, some people were trying to tell me it was a Russian rifle and so on and so forth, um, but. It, it obviously is not a Russian statue. It says Navy in English right here. So um, no markings on the bottom that I can see. There might be something back there. But this thing is bronze, obviously. A little bit of, um, there's a little crack in the back elbow here. Not bad, though. It's not structural. It, it could have happened a long time ago. But, um... This thing is awesome. I I mean, I'll put it up on the website, but I don't mind having this for a while. I mean, this is cool. This is super cool. So, it's, uh, I believe it was made around World War I period as well, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, there was another auction house who had one of these up for sale uh, years ago. Uh, it sold for a nice chunk of change, so... This one will be um, a little spendy. It'll probably be in the $600 range. But it's freaking cool. And you can display it anywhere you want. And no one's going to bitch about it. Because it doesn't have a swastika on it. So, you know, that's why I like these kind of things. It's cool to get stuff that's not Third Reich related from time to time. Because um, I can put it in the house. Like, I don't know how the wife would feel about this. But I'd put that right up on a freaking mantle or something. That's freaking dope right there. I like that. A lot of detail in that. Big chunk of brass. And it's it's hollow up top here. So, but still, it's pretty awesome. And amazingly, everything survived. Because this screws off, so which is really nice. And his scabbard survived, which is amazing. So, that's cool. I like that. Uh, where should I put that? Let's put them over here. Clean up a little bit. Got to keep a tidy, a tidy workspace. Did you ever see um, guys sell stuff on eBay or Facebook or whatever, and they just like, you know, they like this. Display lit tent thing and it's just dirty. Yeah, that pisses me off too. But whatever. Not my business. Alright. Okay, please be careful. Thank you. I'm talking to myself here. Oh, did I say World War One with this? Um, it's not World War One. It's uh, Civil War era. That's right, and it was made probably just after the Civil War. That's the research I did on that. Sorry. I don't know. I had World War One on the brain. Hey, look! I got another card. Uh, and a Cold Water Creek pair of glasses. Apparently, let's see what this card says. I love cards. People are so nice. It's nice to be nice. That's what my mother used to say all the time. It's nice to be nice. So don't be a dick. Good words to live by. Dear Dante, thank you so much for assisting me with this memorabilia. I expect to have more, so I will reach out to you first. Happy holidays from so-and-so, the seller. So again, let's do that. I must be doing something right, getting these nice little cards here. I like that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah, she <laughs> this is a gold mother's cross in here with the wrong ribbon. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. And I, <laughs> it's just funny that this big velvet ribbon is on this. I've never seen someone put this on there. So, it has no place on this. Um, doesn't matter how old the ribbon is. We're taking that shit off right now. And 
I might have a piece of good ribbon to put on there. It's got a little crack on the enamel down there, but that's fine. No big deal. Thank you for that. Oh, we got good packing material on this one, though. Love me some packing material to recycle. Hey, look at this. Ooh, this is a nice army dagger right here, guys. Look at the color on that guy. So this is a nice earlier one. Beautiful silver in here that's toned to a nice dark um, color. Hangers. She's got this all jacked up, but uh, that's fine. We'll switch this around. Right, this is the way it should be. And there's how we're gonna hang it like that. Nice. Really nice. An icorn. Well, that's to be expected. You usually see these really the nice early high quality ones are icorns. Not uncommon. The blade looks great. It's got a um, like a cosmoline on it, so we're gonna clean that up. But uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful army dagger. No issues here at all. Everything matches. Beautiful color on everything. That's a good one, man. Plus the hangers. And it's the deluxe set of hangers. I don't know if you guys are aware of the hangers. Um, there was a lot of different patterns that were uh, available with hangers that you could order separately. Um, I'm sure you could get them from the manufacturers as well. Um, but uh, you could, there was almost an endless amount of companies making hangers and fittings for hangers. So you'll find them in a lot of different configurations. Um, but yeah, this is just a regular um, well, not regular. It's actually, this one's considered more of a deluxe um, because it's got more ornate features on it and a little bit more work went into it. Um, so this one, we in the community, we call it a deluxe pattern hanger. So fantastic. Love that. Thank you very much for that one. What else do we have here, folks? What else do we have? Oh boy, oh boy. Hey, look at that. Nice beaded loof shoots. Leather is okay. It's got a couple of little issues in here, but um the decal is pretty good looking. This is the Gladiator style one. Um, this is actually, a, 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 I think, generally speaking, it's more desirable one. Um, Gladiator style bead around the edge and a seam on the side here. So multi-piece um, construction went into this one. Uh, they got away from that because um, it costs more money to make them with all these pieces. So this one is actually really nice. So thank you for that. And Luft shoots um, helmets are like really still one of the most affordable Third Reich helmets that you can get. So great way to dive into um, the helmet scene without spending a ton of money. Okay, what is this? I don't remember. Oh, now I do remember what this is. Love all this good. She's got the good. This is the good stuff, guys. The stuff that they like wrap furniture in. This like closed cell foam stuff. It's fantastic. A baston plaque. So these were made um, during the occupation years or slightly after, I believe, or slightly after the war ended. Uh, a couple different manufacturers made them over in Belgium. Um, if I'm not mistaken, most of these came out of there, obviously due to the proximity. Um, so basically it just, uh, 
that says Airborne Bastogne on it. They're made in brass. Um, commemorates uh, the the response from the <laughs> from the U.S. when asked to surrender. That just says nuts on it. So these are really fun, um, popular items, um, and just a nice chunk of, of memorabilia right there. And from what I understand, they were made out of shell casing brass. Um, so we've had a couple. I think I have one on the site right now. So that's another one. So that's super cool. Always cool things to have. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Come on, baby. Hey, what do you know? It's a LF and C trench knife with the scabbard. The scabbards are very good to have. Without the scabbard, scabbards are worth a good chunk of change. And this one's in great shape too. But yeah, these are these are just awesome. This one's really sharp. No issues with this one at all. So this is a great one. Uh, marked U.S. L.F. and C. 1917. So yeah, everything looks great with this piece. Love this bad boy. Can you imagine going to a freaking fight with this? I mean, Bad to the bone. That's bad to the bone, man. Thank you very much. Another helmet, obviously. What do we got here? What do we got? What do we have? We have a pillowcase. Hey, thanks for the pillowcase. All right, so this is just kind of your standard uh, civil style shell with shit coming out of the helmet. It looks like oh, carpet beetle. You ever see carpet beetles? They're old carpet beetles, but they they live in your rug and they'll eat anything organic, wool, leather, paper. They'll destroy stuff and. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean you have a dirty home. They just kind of find their way into everything. But yeah, a little carpet beetle larva. Um, exoskeleton there, or whatever you want to call it. Not a live one. Nothing's live. No. There's no pest problems here, guys. But um, yeah, man, this is awesome condition. Um, so these are, again, relatively inexpensive uh, for what you can get. Because, I mean, you get a full size police decal on there plus you get your standard national decal so you get a double decal helmet for well under what a fighting helmet is going to cost so um, you could tell it's a civil helmet by well the thinness of the shell uh, but also <coughs> the square step here and the vent holes so this was not a combat helmet so to speak i'm sure they were used uh towards the end um they would just throw on whatever they had and throw everyone right into the fire so to speak but um these were just used uh in parades and civic duties for the fire department but this one's got a phenomenal uh liner uh even though a bug fell out of it but there's no issues with this liner it's in great shape um the um chin strap is great too it's a little bit crusty but i don't it's not falling apart so the next owner would be wise to put some leather conditioner on there and make sure that it lasts for another 80 years so that's it guys thanks for watching uh, we'll edit this video up and get it up and uh if i don't see you again have a great holiday season um and we'll catch you next time peace